All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to render an AVI or a video file in 3ds Max. This will be a really quick tutorial, so um, I hope you enjoy it and get some basic information from it. But we want, what we want to start off by doing is we're going to go to our rendering tab and we're going to go over to render setup. You can also press F10 on your keyboard and you can also navigate it up here in your buttons. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure it's checked to production rendering mode. Uh, then we're going to scroll down a little bit and you want your renderer to be assigned to mental ray. So if you are using photometric lighting or if you are using Autodesk materials from the Autodesk material library, you're going to want mental ray selected. Um, you can also use scanline if you are using basic materials, basic colors, basic shaders. Um, it'll go a lot faster. So for this, I'm going to have you check mental ray. And then you want to make sure that the view to render is correctly selected. So right now it says uh, quad four template camera close. So I do want it to render my camera, um, but if you don't, you might want to make sure that it's set to whatever you prefer. So my camera is selected here. And now we have a few different time output options. So if you wanted to render a single picture, you would click single. Uh, if you wanted to render your entire animation, so all of your keyframes from 0 to 100 or whatever number you have specified, you would click Active Time Segment. And if you only wanted to render a chunk of it, let's say from frames 0 to 15 to do a test, um, then you can specify frames 0 to 15 or whatever you'd like to do um, in this range option. So now I'm going to scroll down a little bit more and um, you want to customize your output size. So whatever you want. Some of your defaults might be set to HDTV video. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and set mine to custom. 640 by 480 is a low resolution, but um, a fine size for what we're working with in class if you are watching this. And if you scroll down a little bit, this is the last step you need to do is you need to figure out where you want to save your file. So you're going to want to save your file in the same folder that your 3ds Max project is saved in, your bitmaps, your textures, and that way everything is in one nice location. Um, I'm saving mine in my render output file, um, and I'll save it as my tutorial underscore rendering. And most importantly, it will not let you click save unless you choose a save as type. So an AVI file is going to be compatible on PCs. Um, it's a video file. If you want to render individual JPEGs or individual PNGs, um, it will render 100, or your specified number of keyframes, 100 pictures that you can actually string together kind of like a stop motion. So um, all of these options are based on what you'd like, but if you want a video file that's going to be compatible with your PC, then go ahead and click AVI file. Mac users, um, you probably want to do an MOV file. So AVI, click save. Um, it just says I'm overwriting because I've already done this before, so I'm going to say yes. And then you are ready to render. So as a recap, you are going to oops, production rendering mode, check that it's set to mental ray, check that your camera or whatever viewport you're rendering is correctly selected. You want to choose active time segment or your range if you are rendering a video. You want to set your output size to 640 by 480 or whatever you decide that you want your, your output size to be. And then finally, you are going to choose your save location for your render output. At this point, you can click render and um, you will be good to go. So I am not going to let this tutorial run for the entire rendering process, but if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments box. Thank you.